Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a collective haul for you. Um, we are currently on holiday in Poland, hence the different background. Um, and I've done a little bit of shopping, a little bit of shopping. Uh, and normally I would bring it all home and record this at home, but our luggage allowance isn't as great as previous trips. So uh, John wants to take things out of packaging um, to take up less space in the in the luggage. So I thought I would record it while we were here. Um, a lot of this stuff you can buy in the UK and you can buy online. Um, it wasn't necessarily cheaper in Poland, uh, but it, it's a case of we are here, so let's shop. <laughs> um, where to start? Oh, I know, I will show you some earrings. Um, I've worn them, so I've lost the card they came on. But I want to say, I bought these actually in the airport, and I want to say the shop was called Hema, something like that. Um, I bought jelly beans, chocolate covered rice cakes, and a pair of earrings that look like that. I don't know. I'm relatively sure these were like £3.50 in the airport. Super pretty. I don't normally wear gold toned jewellery that often. I normally wear silver toned. But yeah, they were just really pretty. So I like those and less than four quid. Another piece of jewellery that I have purchased, um, I actually bought in a church in Poland. I bought myself a, a new rosary. Don't know if it's weird to show this on the internet or not. Oh, it's got a little knot in. It's just a very pretty, how well you can see the colour. It's coming up a bit more peach on camera. Um, but it's a pink toned bead with crucifix on the bottom. But yes, I just, the one I have at home is black. Um, and I just fancied, I just thought it was very pretty. Yeah, you can see the beads a bit better. But yes, we just pick this up. Oh. In a church while we're out here. Um, it's very nice. Okay. The I'm trying to think, should I do I'll do the things that you can't buy in the UK first. Well I don't think of. Um the next thing I've got is it Sinsei? It says you can shop online at sinsei.com, so maybe you can. I've never seen this brand in the UK, um, but they do have quite a few stores with this brand here over in Gdansk. I'm not sure if I saw one in Krakow. Um, it's a clothing brand. They had a lot of fun Christmas type gifts as well, but I just bought the one t-shirt. Um, I'm really into slogan tops at the moment. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably noticed. Um, so it's just a white top and it says real rubble and the real is in like animal print and the rubble is just in black writing. Um, I think it's really fun. Uh, if you don't know, John, my husband, he runs a rugby team called the Cornish Rebels and I just think it's fun. Like anything with rebels on is fun. Um, because they, you know, we do a lot as a family for the rugby team, so it's nice to have something with their name on. Um, next I'm going to do is Rossman. I always seem to have Roth, Rossman stuff in my halls whenever I've been to Poland. Rossman is, um, it's a bit like Boots in the UK, so it's a drugstore. Um, tried my real best not to go crazy which I normally end up buying like 12 lipsticks and I didn't um I literally bought well I bought more than this <laughs> um in a Rossman I bought some shampoo conditioner and some leave-in serum um the shampoo conditioner they were nice they're gonna stay here in in Poland but uh, I'm taking the serum home with me this is the Garnier Fructis Goodbye Damage. Now, I've not seen this one in the UK. Oh, it's not going to focus. Let's go like that. There we go. That's what it looks like. Um, I've not seen it in the UK, and I've only been using it a week, so I don't really think that's long enough to tell you it's a great product or it's a 
render this product, but it has a little pump. It smells amazing. It makes my hair smell really nice. And it's, it feels hydrating. Obviously I've got colored hair. Um, it's bleached to an inch of its life. So anything that makes your hair feel hydrated when it's like this is great. Um, but it smells good and it doesn't leave gr greasy film on your hands. So definitely coming back home with me. You might have to try and pick up another one before we go home. And the other thing I've got from Rossman is some of these face masks. So um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, depending on how the edit went, you have seen a, a video of John and I trying this out for the first time. Um, it is by brand, I want to say Bel by Linda, I'm not sure, it's the Carbon Detox Face Mask. Um, this is for the combination skin, it's basically a peel off mask. Tried it on film for the first time a couple of days ago, really liked it, my skin felt so soft. Uh, not gonna lie, did have a little pimple on my chin the next day, but I had the start of that before the mask, so I don't think the mask is to blame. So I picked up three more, um, they're like, one ninety nine over here, um, so in English money, like five is a pound, so it's two, so less than fifty p. I think that works out. So yeah, I got three. So that's from Rossman, and then uh, I went to another drugstore, Super Farm. I want to say that's what that's called. Um, in here, I had really dry lips, so I just picked up a lip balm by the brand Life. Looks like that. Protect and care. They had lots of flavoured, you know, flavoured ones. That actually just smells a bit of vanilla lip balm. I've used it a few times. It's quite nice. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive. And then I picked up two nail polishes. These were less than a pound each. Um, they're both kind of in the same colour palette. They're like rosy gold coloured. One is a chunky glitter, one is a fine glitter. I think they will be great for December on the days where I don't want to just have red because I am very much a red glitter as a staple. Um, but these are coppery tones in and I just thought everybody likes rose gold. Uh, and I'm no different. So two little nail polishes and say they were less than a pound each. Uh, went to TK Maxx, which obviously there are TK Maxx's all over the place. Um, and I picked up a Emma Bridgewater um, travel cup. So this is, I can't remember, it did have a nice sticker to tell me which part, which range it was, but I think it's like it's just got different birds on, so it's got a pheasant and a grouse and like different birds. Basically, I have been looking, I literally, I lost my travel cup, I think in the end of September, maybe the beginning of October. And by lost, I mean I left it on the bus. Um, so I've been looking for a nice one. I normally go for one with a handle, um, but this was such a bargain in TK Maxx. I was like, yeah, that'll do me. Um, I think this worked out about four pound. And then the other thing I got from TK Maxx, they had so many beautiful Christmas decorations, but mostly they were glass, so I didn't think I'd be able to get them home on the plane. But then I saw this little fellow it's just, I'm sure they'll have these in the UK. Um, but yeah, he's like, he's a cute little reindeer. When I picked him up, John thought he was a dog chew. But no, he's going to go. I hope that's not like an insight to the future where we'll come home one day and one of the dogs have chewed on this because I don't think that would be very healthy for it. But yeah, little reindeer Christmas decoration. I like that. Um, then the next bag, uh, Flying Tiger. I love their bags. I got a, we've been to 
two of these, um, but I've compacted it into one bag. The other bag had a sloth on it, and I like sloths. So, yeah, I think the most important thing to show you is my new Christmas cup. Uh, this is from Flying Tiger. It's got Diet Coke in it at the moment, or Pepsi Max, actually. Oh, Christmas. It's good. Um, we bought two boxes of chocolates. One box has already been eaten. Um, they had kind of a Ferrero Rocher type chocolate. And these are the Belgian Charuffles. I don't think these are going to make it home. I think they're going to get eaten here. And then, oh, Christmas things. These are for John. Um, now, I know they definitely have this shop in the UK. They don't have one in Cornwall, though. So we have to go to the next county to go to one of these. So, yes, these are from the Christmas range for men with beards. Um, they have some beard baubles. John has some of these at home. Um, but he can always do with more. And then beard fairy lights. Now, John, <laughs> John did this um, a couple of years ago. He was raising money uh, for men's, I think it was testicular cancer, men's health. Um, and he actually strung some up through his beard and wore them to work for like an entire Saturday um, to help raise money. Uh, they weren't this professional. They were literally some battery operated ones from the pound shop, but you know, Flying Tiger have caught up with the times and now he has those. What else did they buy? Staying with Christmas, I got myself a little Father Christmas decoration with like this knitted pom-pom thing. I really like him, I thought he was cute. Um, I didn't quite realise I bought so much stuff. Oh, so I picked up two of these signs. Uh, I follow a lady on Instagram that makes these for Etsy and I fully intend on getting some from her. But hers come in rose gold. Um, but yes, I saw these and I had to buy them. So they're just kind of wool, wool art that you kind of pop on somewhere in your home. So that one says love, I thought was really nice. And one that says hello. I'm going to put that somewhere near my front door at home. I think it's fun. Can you see? I don't know if it's coming up on camera well. So like H E L O. Yeah. And then I recently got a new phone. I got the Samsung 9. And then I saw, we went um, to a shopping centre on, I think it was Saturday. And they had quite a few nice phone cases but nothing that kind of jumped out at me and then we was in Flying Tiger and I saw this and it's totally me and it was super cheap it's like Christmas with the candy canes and then sparkly sparkly glitter can't go wrong can't go wrong uh, next shop is Mac um, I only bought one thing and it was actually quite little so I got one of their mini lipsticks. These were nine pounds here. I'm not quite sure. I think the mini lipsticks, I think they're nine pound in the UK. Maybe 10, but yeah, they were nine pound here. Um, fully was gonna buy Whirl as I've wanted it for the longest time. Um, and I tried it on the back of my hand. I was like, yeah, that's great. And then the, the girl actually in the Mac shop was like, you need to try it. And I was like, oh, I've swatched it on my hand. She's like, no, no, no. And she put it on me. And I'm so glad she did it because it was totally too dark for me. I just like, I'm pale anyway. And it just like washed me out. Um, so I ended up buying Twig. <laughs> um, just the mini one. Yeah. She then tried to sell me Velvet Teddy, which I kind of pointed out that was the colour I already had on that day. Uh, but yeah. And then we went to Sephora. Poor John. <laughs> Um, I only picked up a couple of bits, so I got myself a new hair clip, it's a circular, circular clip, and I bought uh, a lip balm in almond flavour, 
Obviously this was in a different day that I bought the other lip balm just because this smells amazing. And then I've got two little nail polishes. This is in the shade. Do they not normally say shades? Oh, Bikini Party. It's like a fun bluey green colour. And then again for Christmas, I got this like muted gold, which doesn't actually say what shade it, they've called it, but it's like a muted gold colour. And that's uh, also Sephora's own brand, both of those are. And that is my collective haul. I have rambled on for quite some time um, and I didn't think I'd bought very much <laughs> this trip. But yes, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.